Now, tensions have been very high downtown in anticipation of this decision by the grand jury. In fact, some businesses began boarding up before Election Day. Others, though, started adding boards ahead of this grand jury decision. Businesses told us they wanted to prepare for any violent protests. CBS 4's Darius Johnson picks up our live team coverage now downtown. Darius, what's, what's the mood there in downtown in the wake of this decision? Hey, good evening, Bob. You know, one thing that I can tell you is that the crowd has started to pick up at least within the last hour, but we're still not sure if these are just everyday people or demonstrators. One thing that I can tell you is the tower here at Salesforce, they just added barricades within the last hour. And many of these businesses that are right here in Monument Circle and the streets beyond have boards on their doors and windows because they didn't want to experience what they experienced back in May. Now, those who we spoke with, they do tell us that they welcome peaceful demonstrators demonstrators and they want their voices to be heard as long as they don't cause a ruckus. We didn't decide to board up for election, but we did. We our landlord notified us that we should, probably should for the jury case that is happening. The boards are going up this time in preparation for the grand jury decision surrounding the death of Dre John Reed, a police officer shot and killed the 21 year old during an exchange of gunfire on May 6. We knew a grand jury decision was coming out in the near future, but uh, we decided to board up right around the election uh, time. We didn't know what the outcome of the election was going to be. Many downtown businesses are taking additional precautions to prevent the damage caused by rioters and looters in May after the deaths of Reed and George Floyd. All of our windows, every single one of them got broken. Um, they kind of looted around. I want people to understand that the more damage that we do to our downtown and our small businesses, it has nothing positive that comes out of that. These are small businesses that are also welcoming, but still suffering silently due to COVID. They say another night of riots and looting will put many out of business. Small businesses suffering because of Corona all over the place, all over the country, and uh, we just can't we just can't take a hit. I mean, one week could change our direction. Here's the message to those who are coming to make their voices heard. Come down here, express how you feel, be pissed, but just do it the right way. That's all we ask from people. Now, I will tell you that downtown saw $7 million in damages after those May riots and looting sprees that happened following the death of, of Dre John Reed and George Floyd. Now, I do want to go ahead and tell you all this back there in the studio. I have been keeping up with Black Lives Matter here in Indianapolis. They just tweeted within the last five minutes before you all start at that six o'clock show that they are urging people to come down here right now. They are meeting at Meridian and New York streets. They are sending people to tips and advice over Twitter. I am following that. We have multiple crews downtown here right now to bring you all of this live coverage throughout the evening. So we will bring this to you as this situation develops and unfolds. But I can tell you this, these business owners, they are welcoming peaceful protesters, but they aren't welcoming any commotion, which is why they are boarded up this evening. We are live this evening in Monument Circle. I'm Darius Johnson for CBS4 News. All right, a developing situation there downtown. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Also, again,